Hey everyone, this is Diaz. Um, this will be a tutorial video. So you've probably seen some pictures or videos of other people walking around with different types of auras around their players. So I, you know how, how it's annoying, how sometimes you get lost within a group of people. So I'll help you understand how to change that if you don't. And this tutorial will have two parts. So the first one will be uh, how to change that on Steam. And the second part will be how to change it on the web version if you can't play on Steam. There is a way, and it's thanks to one man, one man only. His name is Tobez from Meta, and he had made a program for, uh, for that. So I'll show you how that works and share the link to that. So put on your Bob Ross hats and let's get to arting. All right, so let's do the first part on Steam, which is really simple. So look at my address bar at the top, and this will be the file path you'll need to find. So go into your main drive, minus C, the local C drive. This is in Windows Explorer, by the way. Look for that on your PC if you don't know what that is. So you'll have to locate uh, your local drive, your main drive, program files, x86, which is 32 bits. Then you find Steam in that folder. And then you go into Steam Apps, Common, Starbreak. Now, once you're in the Starbreak folder, look on the left, the same thing. So click on uh, Data and then click on Texture. There you go. So now you see all the... Uh, the art that's used in the game so they're uh, they're saved as PNG files PNG what we'll do first is make a folder you can make it within this folder if you want or someone else somewhere else I mean all right and what we'll do is I'll uh, select everything except for the backup folder and then copy And go into the folder, click paste. Also, just to be on the safe side, back up the backup folder. So copy it and paste it somewhere else other than this folder. Just have a double backup, maybe, you know, just in case. In case you, by mistake, delete Starbreak. I don't know. So do that as well. So what we'll do right now is we will have to replace these files. So you have to remember that it has to be the exact same file name. So that's why we made a backup, just in case we screwed up or we need a reference. Now I'll do an example. We'll first start off with the player aura and how to change that. And what you'll need to do is locate the... Uh, base zero uh, file, PNG file. So it starts with base zero, base dot zero dot and a bunch of crap. So we're gonna, we're gonna open up a, an image editor. I'm gonna be using Adobe Photoshop because I'm more familiar with it. You can use whatever you want. Look up uh, image editor on Google. One of the most popular ones are Krita and GIMP, um, just Google that. So I'll, I'll, I'll have it on the, uh, the video right now. So it's called Krita GIMP. You can Google that, download it and play around, familiarize yourself with, uh, with those tools, whichever you want, it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's up to you. There are two parts to the Aura. One is right here. So as you can see, <laughs> I wrote my name on it. It's uh, yellow over here. Let me show it to you a little better. I'm gonna center it right here. So this is the one. So there we go, so it's right here next to the default hammer on the left. And I wrote my name again, lol, and an aqua color. So obviously, I mean, you can change this to whatever you want. You can even paste something. 
So, I mean, you've probably seen this. Let's mess around with it. Let's let's uh, let's go a little crazy. All right. Holy shit, what just happened? As you can see, I went over the borders. So now my game is totally buzzed. And this is why you should keep your backups so you can uh, check that out. Okay, so now we've learned our lesson. Uh, do not do what I just did. It will not work. First time, hey, I'm sorry, I didn't know. So I guess you have to stay within the border. Okay, so I've got this uh, random smiley face off of Google. We're going to select this and then copy it over. Holy shit. I'm going to have to uh, make it a little smaller, obviously, so it can fit inside the, uh, the art. So something like this, right? Make it bigger. Let's see how this, uh... all right, so we're doing some live trial and error. Let's see how this one turns out, if it breaks every texture. Yep, it does kind of break every texture. Once again, hmm, what am I doing wrong? What I'll do is I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll have to check out Pussycats. Man, that's some wacky portals right there. All right, so let's have a closer look at what uh, Pussycat has done. So the first aura or first set piece of the aura, he has a uh, circle perfectly inside in between the, uh, the pieces here. So I guess that's what we're supposed to do. Um, and the second one, he just recolored it. Uh, by the way, for recoloring, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is select like a uh, bucket tool just like I have over here and you just click okay that was pretty bad it kind of worked on my oh wait he he made it precisely okay that's the difference see as mine mine was crap let's uh, have a look at mine where is it oh right so I had these extra layers here nope let's remove them yeah, so I used my uh, bucket tool and I just basically <laughs> uh, bucketed over. So you could do that. I mean, it works at least. At least I, I tested it for a couple of months. Didn't give me any troubles. So you could do that or you can go, if you have the time, you can uh, do it precisely. Like you just zoom in and do it pixel by pixel. Or maybe you can uh, you can use the bucket tool if you're this close. Nope, he kind of uh, screws it up. So as you can see, just to give you an example how this works, so this is the uh, pussycat base dot zero file. Basically, just uh, copy. And now uh, I'm in the um, the Starbreak texture folder, and I'm just gonna click on paste over here. And yes, you have to agree to paste this over. Okay, so we're in game and let's have a look at uh, Pussycat's aura. There we go, it's really pretty. So he put detail on it and I'm cold as there, teabagging me. And just to show you how I made it within Photoshop, so I just, you know, shrunk it to be the right size within the uh, two assets set pieces here and I didn't do anything on the the other one I don't think it matters I mean it'll overlap so there's no sense in putting it on the other uh, the other one right here all right so I went back and took my happy face my smiley face and shrunk it to be within the borders of the uh, the aura things <laughs> so let's have a look see how it turns out this time it should be okay yeah there we go so it's fine now. You got my smiley face. Uh, All right, so now we're on uh, Tobez's Sprite's History Chronicles, whatever you want to call it. 
I mean, um, he has saved since beta 31 until recently. So up top is the, uh, the oldest and the newest. So like I said before, if you screw up something, you can always come back here, click on, uh, I'm going to put the link on the screen right now and in the description below, by the way. So click on sheets afterwards, and now you've got the whole thing. So like I said, base dot zero is the one if you want the uh, the aura change. Among the other things, obviously, if you if you want to change weapon designs, character designs, you could do it. It'll take a lot of time though, but you can definitely do it on your own. So this is it. All right, so now we'll go on to the second part of the video. So this is for all of you who are on the browser version, the web version of Starbreak. For whatever you reason, you can play on Steam or you prefer on browser or your PC prefers on browser. So um, what we'll do first, so we're on uh, Chrome. We're going to go ahead and look for Tamper Monkey. So you're going to need to install an extension. So you go into More Tools Extensions over here and get more extensions. Now over here in the store, Chrome Store, find Tamper Monkey. So it's already there. Install it. So you add to Chrome. You say yes, add extension. So it's checking and it's going to install. There we go. So there we go. So it's open. So this is Tamper Man Monkey. So Tamper Monkey. Now next is Tobez's um, image script for Starbreak for browser version. So I'm going to have to show you the link because it's a, a very long link. Now let's close the Tamper Monkey extension here. So we got it open by the way, so it's over here. It's enabled. Now this is the uh, the link for Tobiz's Starbreak Sprite Sheet Replacer. Now what we're gonna do is you just have to write this in the uh, in the address bar, hit enter, and right away you are brought to Tamper Monkey here, and you just have to click on install right here. I mean, you can check out the script. It's very simple. Nothing malicious here. So we're going to install it. The way it works, by the way, let's just have a look at it since we're here. So this is the main part that you're supposed to um, modify. There's already instructions here. So y if you want to add replace base.0 just for the uh, for the aura, this is all you have to change. Uh, you can remove this line, by the way. It won't replace anything else. So that's as an example. And, and we'll do just that. As an example, we'll, uh, we'll re replace the base.0 folder file, image file, the PNG one. And before we do the actual, we'll just install it first. No script is running. All right, let's go into the dashboard then. So we have this. It won't run because uh, we're not in star on starbreak.com. It, it just runs when you're on Starbreak, by the way. Even though it's on, it might say there's no scripts running. But once you go on starbreak.com, you're, you're set. So what we'll do is we'll click, I think it's this, yes, click here to edit. So every time you want to modify another file, you're just going to have to remember the, the beginning part. So like you see here, you know, you have the base zero, that's where the aura is, base dot one, that's where the character, the other character sprites are among weapons and stuff like that. Each time you want to replace a file, you're going to need to create a second line. You just press enter and you write exactly what's up there. So maybe you want to switch the, uh, the UI uh, you just have to find, you know, the beginning part of the the, the, the file. Um, so whatever it is, anyways, we'll, we'll just keep it simple for this video. Let's let's remove 
the the base dot one line we don't need it there we go so keep the quotes now I have already copied the uh, the picture the image uh, paste the image I already have it pasted here and then just uh, save so it's this little diskette click save so it's completed there is one problem with this method is unfortunately the script only works if the uh, the image host has something called CORS enabled. Um, so you will need to check that up on your own. I couldn't find one. I, I tried to search for a bit, but unfortunately I couldn't find any that worked with the script. So like if you're going to use Imgur or Imgur, whatever, it won't work. Um, it would be best if you have your own web host. I know that's kind of silly. I mean, don't buy one just for this. You don't have to. But I mean, I guess that's the, the best way to uh, to have this working. Otherwise, you're going to have to like search the web for that. So that's what Tobis told me about this. Um, so it could be a, a problem, but uh, good luck with that. In any case, um, if you go, if you do decide to stick with this, uh, let your creative side flow and go ham. Just like in this example, I mean, I'm going to turn uh, every wildfire in the game. Instead of a wildfire, it'll be a ginger fire. So I'm turning all of these uh, purple heads into ginger heads. And I mean, you could just do whatever. You could just like, you know, not only modify the colors, but also change shapes, add in shapes on top of uh, textures. Just gotta, you know, test and see. It takes a lot of time. I might uh, in the future or in the near future spend a little time and try to do some interesting creations. You can like even do skins and you can even modify current skins or hats um like over here now you can see the uh, the ginger <laughs> ginger fires and all of these um all of these spreadsheets i will uh link them in the bottom in the description at the bottom so if you want ginger fires or if you want pussycats uh cool aura or my silly clown face aura i'll link it in the bottom and over here, I'm just uh, quickly modifying one of uh, Wildfire's uh, hats here, which is the skeleton one. So it's pretty easy. I mean, this this is just a, a color swap, palette swap, whatever you call it. And you get results right away. So yes, yeah, so have fun with this. Share your stuff, I guess, if you have creations. And uh, good luck. Hello. Hi, so this is a uh, star break. All right, sick guys. Once again, I love every single one of you. Please follow, subscribe, the whole nine. Much love, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. I love every one of you. I swear it. Thank you. Put it on the forum.